like this. Uh, what we have is x plus 3 divided by x minus 2 plus 5 divided by x squared minus 4 equals 1. All right, And so what we're going to do for this one is this exact same thing. We need to determine the LCM of denominators. But I'm going to tell you guys a secret. For this whole chapter test, the first thing you want to do for everything is what? Yeah. Factor. Always look for opportunities to factor. Right? Remember simplifying, multiplying, dividing? What did we really do? We factored, as, we factored out as much stuff as possible. We factored so then we can eliminate as much stuff as possible. Then we applied the operation. For graphing, for adding and subtracting, always want to factor. So what I'm going to do is I notice I can rewrite x squared minus 4. That's a difference of two squares because I've been doing my factoring for so long. I know that that is factored as x minus 2 times x plus 2. right? That's the factored form of x squared minus 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite x squared minus 4 as its factored form. And the reason why I'm going to do that is now you can see that my least common multiple, they already share an x minus 2, right? They share that. So therefore, my LCM, or my least common denominator, is going to be x minus 2, which they both divide into. But then I also need to include the x plus 2. So my LCM is x minus 2 times x plus 2. Because they both divide into that. So now what I'm going to do is multiply by my LCM. So remember, we do that for every single term. We're always going to multiply by the LCM. So I multiply x minus 2 times x plus 2. And then here I multiply by x minus 2 times x plus 2. Okay. Well, what notice is these are all in the numerator. These are in the denominator. What you notice is x to minus 2 divided by x minus 2 is 1. x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 is 1. So really, all I have here is 5 plus. Here, the x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 goes to 1. But then I have x plus 3 times x plus 2. Plus 5. Oops. And then I forgot to multiply my 1. Jeez. x minus 2 times x plus 2, right? So that equals x minus 2 times x plus 2. All right, now I'm going to go a little bit quicker, guys, to keep this uh, video a little bit shorter. You guys should know you can multiply this by box method. You could use FOIL, whatever. I'm just going to do it in my head, OK, just to keep, the, keep things kind of short. So I mean, if you FOIL this out, you get x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus 5 equals this factored out is going to be x squared minus 4, which we already knew was the difference of two squares. All right, so now this is a, we notice we have a quadratic, right? We have an x squared. Yes? But the main important thing, so to solve a quadratic, you get everything to one side and you set it equal to 0, right? So let's get these off this side. So let's subtract an x squared on both sides and let's add a 4. Well, what we have is 6 plus 5 is 10, plus 4 is 14. This actually divides to, or subtracts to 0. So I have 5x plus 14 equals 0. Something wrong. That's 11, right? Thank you. OK. So what you guys notice is as I put all the x's and everything to one side, my quadratic terms actually eliminate it to 0. So is this a quadratic equation anymore, or quadratic? No, it's not a quadratic anymore because I don't have a variable raised to the second power. Now it's just linear. You guys should be fairly familiar with solving linear equations. Well, this is what we call easy, right? Kind of. So you subtract the 15. 5x equals negative 15 divided by 5. x equals negative place. Got it? Cool? Yes? No? Maybe so? OK, cool. Muy bueno. Juliana.